Hi there. I'm Tiercy, and I'm going to try something new. So, Sarah, my executive assistant, um, inspired me to perhaps try adding video to this particular series because what I want to start doing is reading you some stories out of my new book that just recently got released called Unreasonably Grateful. And it's a collection of stories through um, the period of time, my 37 years of recovery. And um, there's always a key lesson or an insight or a message in each of the stories. So I want to start because some of you I know are new, and I want to welcome you to this podcast, Unreasonably Grateful. And I just want to remind you that, um, you know, I don't have your answers. You do. But we all know that we learn from one another's stories. So it's my hope that something here will inspire you or encourage you or even just give you a little bit of freedom or wiggle room, so to speak, in just your everyday life. So welcome. I'm grateful that you're here. And maybe, I don't know, maybe video will have it be a little bit more personal than just having audio was. So we'll see. All right. So I'm going to start by reading you a story from the book that's called Validation. And um, let's just see what, what we learned together from this. Okay. All right. Here we go. So. Uh, my high school years were actually split between two schools due to my swimming career. I hadn't been in or kept in touch with anyone since our graduation 50 years ago. She gasped as I walked up to her at our reunion picnic. I thought you were dead, she said. We hugged, making up for all the years in between. We had spent hours and hours at the pool together, working out. She working on speed, and she went on to become a gold medal Olympian, an eye on grace and strength and synchronization. It was rewarding to have memories confirmed and to listen to another's perspective of those early days of my weight loss. I felt faultless as someone besides me acknowledged that anorexia wasn't well known, nor was what to do about it back then. My friends had felt helpless. Dealing with their own adolescent challenges was enough, let alone facing someone they cared for as I began to shrink and disappear. We laughed. We cried, we forgave, and most of all, we loved and appreciated one another and our lives now. Then something so unexpected happened. I brought up the name of our civics teacher, whom my mother had arranged to help me pass civics so that I could graduate after missing so much school while hospitalized. Even in my misty memory, I can still feel my paralysis when he would put his hand at my dress while my mother was busy getting him coffee and cookies as we sat next to each other on her back porch studying. My friends shared that some women had come forward just a few years ago and told about their abuse experiences when he was up for being recognized for his contribution after 50 years of being on staff. The statue that they were going to erect in his honor never happened. The award was never given. The statute of limitations had passed, so no legal actions were taken. I felt my lungs expand as if to take their first full breath in a very long time. My body felt lighter and my mind quieter. As my shoulders relaxed, I shared 
that I too had been one of those students. My friends looked at me with a mixture of sadness, love, and kindness as my fossilized doubt began melting away. Never before had I experienced any of my abuse being validated. I realized I was in the midst of an unexpected blessing, and I could feel a new joy bubbling up inside of me. So, here's my question. What is it that perhaps you would love to have validated? Something in your life. Maybe it's something you've held privately or by yourself, or maybe you have shared it, but it hasn't been validated. I can remember, I can still remember just reading that story, how it felt after all these years and the abuse that I've experienced in my life, to have someone else validate it. So I'd love you to just take some time this week and look and see, is there something? Is there something in your life that if it were validated, you would experience a new sense of freedom? Not that anything has to happen or anything has to change other than what changes inside of you when you recognize, yeah, it's not just your experience, but it's actually a shared experience. And it allows you to connect with others outside of yourself in a new way for maybe the first time in a long time. So as I sign off, And until next time, do that work. Look and see what it is. And if you want to share it with me, I'm happy to listen. You can always contact me at tercy at tercyenglehart.com. And I'm also in the process now that the book's out to updating my website. Soon you'll be able to order the book directly on my website. And I'd be happy to send you one. All right. Have a beautiful day. And let's do that work. Get a little bit freer, all right? Thank you.